Oh, hi. Do you ever just wanna go to sleep? And then at night, you just notice, boom, your blanket's all weird. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Why is it all messed up on the inside? <laughs> And you try to fix it, you, you you think about it, and you're just so sad, and you're gonna try and accept it, but it's so annoying, and, uh... Okay, um, this, <laughs> um, this is an issue that can be fixed. Uh, watch the video, and, uh, you'll know how. Hello, Nobs. Um, uh, this is Raphael from Visions of Raphael, and, um, uh, what you just watched was so obviously super relatable. <laughs> Um, what you just watched was, um, my attempt at trying to convince you to, um, do this DIY with me. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know, I, I haven't tried it before. A bee just flew inside, hello. Or is it, is it a fly? I don't know. It was like, a flower, flower, and then I saw no flower, and I was like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I go away now. <laughs> I did my makeup, and I'm extremely happy with this wing. But then this one is like a little, is it's um, awkward sister or something. But, so, okay, this idea isn't completely um, uh, original to me because it was, uh, funnily, it was my sister who came up with the concept. So, okay, basically what the concept is, because I, it was a very exaggerated uh, point of view, um, but I do think we've all had it before where we're just like, um, first of all, getting our blanket inside of the thing, inside of the cover, it's extremely annoying and, and really difficult and um, I think it's gonna help with that. And then second of all, um, then afterwards it's just going to keep it in, so it really isn't, it's not gonna be able to fold, it's not gonna be able to slide, it's just gonna stay in place. And I'm very excited about this actually because I haven't really fully realized that I've been doing this. So all you need is a bed cover a blanket and some extra fabric and I don't think the color really matters that's just really up to you so you can even have fun with it be creative um, and uh, if you're a child your parents permission because um, oh and you need um, well you don't really need uh, I'll, I'll show you I'll show you the two ways but really if you're a child um, first of all I don't know if you should be watching my videos and second of all um, really ask for your parents' permission, okay? Because uh, needles are extremely pointy and they can be very uh, dangerous. You need to be careful with using them. So make sure to also uh, ask if um, one of your parents may be able to uh, help you or look with you while you're doing this. We're gonna be um, altering these things. So um, if your parents wouldn't be comfortable, for example, with adding a little bit of extra fabric to your uh, natural blanket, um, then make sure to respect that because you do not want to um, get in a fight with your parents because that's not fun. That's not fun. We don't like getting in fights with our parents or anybody. Okay, let's get into it. And another thing, this is going to be the first time that I'll be using um, this camera that I got from my brother and, uh, his, uh, um, and his girlfriend. I'm going to be using this to start filming some parts of the um, of the video because then I can just uh, give you multiple perspectives and I can keep you on this stand so I don't have to move that side of the camera um, so yeah okay so the first thing that you'll need is um, some fabric I'll be using this fabric and I cut it off um, from a skirt that I got from a friend because I made the skirt shorter and I do think the fabric is really cute um, and seeing that it's like pastel color, I think that's really cute and I think it'll fit. And um, then the, ne the next thing you need, of course, is uh, some thread. So um, I have a lot of colors and I'll probably be using this one, seeing that my uh, bed covers are kind of like the same color. And um, if you have a sewing machine and you know how to use it, and please make sure to have parental uh, permission because a sewing machine is very difficult to work with if you don't know what it's like and um, the needle, it can also be just be dangerous. So um, if, you're, if you do not have experience and you're under the age of 18, then I'll show you how to do this with a normal needle. And if you don't have a sewing machine and you are above the age of 18 or you just don't feel like it, then I'll also show you. 
um, and um, if you do have sewing experience, then um, you can grab your sewing machine. Um, and I'll be doing that. And what you also need uh, are some scissors, preferably fabric scissors. But if you do not have fabric scissors, just get some scissors that work well. And also be careful with those. But um, okay, so um, if you're if you're under the age of 18, I'm gonna stop uh, warning everything now. So be careful with yourself, okay? I have my eyes on you. I have these fabric scissors and I still have these from when I was in school for fashion tailor and I, I dropped out after three months because of a mental problem. <laughs> um, and make sure to drink water, that's also required. Um, so basically, uh, first things first, this is also the first thing, the first time that I'm gonna do it. Um, what you need, what you need first is, um, of course, you need to have your blanket. So make sure to take out the, um, the blanket out of the cover. And I love this one, it's so cute and purple! <laughs> okay. Where's the exit? I don't think it really matters. Um, if you start with the blanket or with this thing because it's basically just the same thing, but um, What you do need to do is you need to turn this one uh, inside out. So you need to have the um, The side that you're gonna be seeing uh, That's gonna be on the inside now so that you see These of course, so you turn them inside out and um, You make sure that all the corners are visible Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um First things first that you need to do is you need to cut eight, eight strings. So if you have a sewing machine, then I would advise you to make these a little bit longer to make sure that it's good and to make sure that there are no little things like this in it. <clears throat> Although it also doesn't really matter actually, but preferably not. So if you want to make this very easy for yourself, I would recommend that you um, you just cut off strips and just make it easy for yourself. Um, but it's going to be less secure, and you'll um, there's a bigger chance that eventually it'll just like uh, it's just going to be less secure. <laughs> but you can. So I'll do one of them for you as well. So what you just need to do is you just need to make a strip. So I would say that um, I have a little thing. I would say you cut out like strips of like at least one and a half centimeters, two centimeters. And I'm not gonna put too much effort into making it look pretty because this is also the first time that I'm making it and I'm just like not the handiest, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> um, basically, so you have this, yeah, and then um, I would say I could cut this one in two. Yeah, so this one is, for example, 28 centimeters long, so it's also okay. And this, so this one I'll cut in the middle. Another flying cap moment to tell you that you should actually keep the strings a little bit longer by realize this later on, because you'll be needing them to like make ties and stuff. So preferably a little bit too long than a little bit too short. And you don't notice it while you're sleeping. We're gonna get back on that later, but you don't. And then you have two of these strips and um, you need eight of those. So, but I'm gonna do it um, so if you want to do it like that, you can just skip along until I have uh, timestamps um, in the description and also just if you ro go over the, the this thing <laughs> If you like move your mouse to this thing here uh, Or if you're, I don't know, then uh, you can just skip along to the next uh, chapter But I'm just gonna show the rest of the people um, uh, that do have a sewing machine and uh, that do know how to do this and have the energy <laughs> Um, how to do it then. So, um, in that case, we'll need uh, strips of, I would say, four centimeters, four by 15, or preferably even a little bit longer. Um, longer. <laughs> but yeah, so let's do that. And you need eight of those. And by the way, I did learn this um, uh, best way to cut straighter lines because this already looks a lot better than like don't look on the other side <laughs> do not do it 
Whoa, great fog. Oh yeah, uh, you just cut faster. And you make sure, of course, to go in a straight line. And one thing that also helps, if you go, so, if you go like this, you can very often, if your scissor is like sharp enough, you can basically just slide through it. And that makes for a very nice clean cut. Okay, um, so this is the next chapter. I uh, myself cut out six of these because I have two of the um, thinner ones. Um, if, if, um, cause I'm first gonna show the people with the sewing machine one more part. Um, and then, so if, um, if you just skipped to this timestamp, skip to the next one. <laughs> um, cause, um, this is still a sewing machine. So yeah, let's see you in a couple seconds, a couple, yeah, for you a couple seconds. Good luck. Okay. Hello. This is the second camera, Rafael. This, okay, so basically what you do is you take the fabric and you fold it in um, like this. Then you take a pin, a couple of pins, and you put them in, um, preferably like um, like that because you're going to be sewing like this and if you need to take them out or for them to not be in the way, um, it's best to have them uh, horizontal or <laughs> like this vertical I guess and you just do this all the way till the end to make sure that it's completely folded okay so basically after you've done that now you wanna start sewing um, down the edge and it needs to be inside out by the way so because we're gonna be um, kind of like turning it uh, inside out afterwards to kind of turn it into something like this as you can see let's see if I can film this And right now I'll be using black, but of course, make sure to choose something that um, I don't think this, this really matters because you won't be, really be seeing this. The best thing, of course, is to pick something that fits the color palette. Okay, so this sucks. I'm like trying, uh, I, I already made one of these just to make sure that I know what I'm doing, I guess. <laughs> and it's just not, it's so hard. I've been working on this for 10 minutes now and I, I'm trying to get it through and it's not working. <laughs> and then you take out the pins. And I have this little cool cushion. <laughs> Again, from the, um, the um, school I used to go to. Because I, I still have all the supplies. I already had this sewing machine. Which is, by the way, the Singer tra Tradition. And I do recommend it because it's like for beginners, very beginner friendly. And it's not too expensive. But it still costs like around 200 euros. So it's like still expensive. But... Um, compared to other sewing machines, it's um, quite decent. Okay. Okay, next up that you do to make sure that it like kind of um, finishes off looking kind of nice, you um, make sure to, so you take one side and you place it underneath the little foot thing. And then you sew it shut. What you do now is you take your little, um, you use a paintbrush and you kind of like, you try and make it go inside of itself. Watch me struggle while doing it. Okay, and once you have that, you just kind of push it through. I have, um, uh, my fabric has these things, which is stupid. Um, and there you have it. Boop, 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 boop. And there you go. <laughs> and then you finally um, sew it shut. So basically what you do is you take the paintbrush again, and then you Kind of fold it into itself again. Make sure that it's kind of even with the other side. And it looks less pretty than I intended it to be. Sorry. And then you take this side and you kind of just sew it shut. Uh, by the way, I used black. 
to show you and because I'm lazy. Um, but if you're not lazy, the thing is you're not going to see it much because it's inside of the blanket. Um, but it's still nice if it looks good, of course. So then you could change out the thread for something that matches the color, but I did not. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Hello, this was the right timestamp. <laughs> or on to the next chapter. So um, this is the part where I'm gonna show you how you would do um, like without the um, without all the sewing and stuff. How you would do this instead? I did make this one a little bit too short, so I said 15 centimeters. I hope you didn't cut them already, and if you did, it's also okay because this would work. But it, I would honestly recommend that you make them a little bit longer because um, you just want to make sure that you really have all the room because these are going to be used to tie into each other. And if you have one that isn't very long, it's still very much possible. Yeah, it's still very much possible. <laughs> but I feel like it's just a lot more secure if it's like, um, if it's longer. So yeah, um, make sure to do that. But um, for the sake of the video and for the ones who already cut them and for myself, um, for my sanity. Because <laughs> I just made seven of these and it, it, it wasn't too bad, but it also wasn't too easy. So, okay. Basically what you do is um, I'm gonna, it doesn't really matter which, uh, which one you start with. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take um, the corner of your bed sheets. And of course, make sure that it's not by the opening because you don't wanna be shutting anything shut that wasn't shut before. Um, Cause all we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding little corners to it. So um, what you're gonna need is you're going to need um, a needle. And I'm sure somebody has a needle, otherwise um, I can't help you. Because <laughs> you do really need a, need a needle. Or maybe you're, you'll find something creative, I trust you. Um, so basically what you want to do is you take the side and you do this. And I think if you, ha if you have a pin, it's always nice to just pin it in place because then it's not gonna go anywhere and it's just secure. So basically this is what we're, what we're gonna do. So take the needle and take some thread. And then if you have that, you're just gonna start, start sewing it inside and out. So you just poke it through like that. You take it through and then you take it to the other side again. And you take it to the other side again. And then what I recommend th doing then for sec uh, ultra, ultra security <laughs> um, is you could um, go, th of course, like, um, not of course. Um, what I recommend doing first is if you have these two to kind of add a knot to it so that it's secure. And uh, if you cut it, that it's not gonna get loose. And this is, by the way, just for uh, the security, this is for the people who do not have a sewing machine. Otherwise, this would be a lot um, different. You would just like, and it's done. But this is a little different. So you take, you continue going. You go through it again. And you take it out to the other side. And then what I recommend doing here is you kind of like poke it back a little bit too, to make sure that it goes through and then you have the security. Then you poke it through again so that you the, the hole you just poked it through is used again. And then you go into, you go further again. And you just kind of like do that in all four corners. And again, make sure to not shut anything that wasn't shut before. You Literally, you're just adding these things. And it's really, it's, um, it's on. It's not on the outside. It's on the inside of the of the cover. So yeah, you just continue doing that until you think it's completely secure. Mm -mm. And then how do we secure it? I don't know. I'm really bad at the final part. What I would do is I would poke it. I'm gonna show you a little closer. I hope it focuses. You take it under one of the last. Um, things you did you go through then you take it through the loop before pulling it tight 
and then that kind of creates a, a knot. And then if you do that again, I'm sure that there's better ways to do this. I'm not a sewing pro. I just have a sewing machine and I just know how to sew, but I'm not good at it. So yeah. And then you have, a, I think, make it loose. Take the needle out first. <laughs> Got down. And um, then you cut off this part. By the way, I would recommend using a color that um, looks aesthetically pleasing, but I don't really care. So here you have the loop. So you're gonna do this on all four sides. And then uh, once you've done that, then it's done. If And then you're also gonna add the same loopies, the same things to your blanket. So this is my blanket and you use um, the thing and you make it make sure to yeah you you mm, <laughs> you um uh do it here as well and then all four corners and then um yeah if you've done that then you can go to the ending of the video because now i'm gonna go over back to the sewing machine part okay loves so now we have all eight of these things i have seven because <laughs> I just added this. So you have all eight, and then you kind of... So you have all eight of these, and now you're gonna take all corners of your cover, and um, make sure to not make shut anything that wasn't shut before. So you just take the corner, and you add this to the corner. And if you shut it a little bit, I don't think it's too bad. Um, but then you could start noticing on it on the outside. But I noticed that with my cover, you might need to. So then um, basically you have something like this and you um, sew that shut. So you make sure that it's in place and you just sew it shut. Oh. You do need to add your thread in there, because I do not have it. <laughs> okay, and next up, add them to the corners of your blanket. So it's just gonna be the same process. You just add these, and you stick them like that. And you just sew that shut again, and then all four. Okay, you made it to the end. <laughs> so, hello, congratulations. So basically, um, now you have all four corners. I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of us all, because this was kind of a, um, a hassle. Make sure that they're secure in place, because I'm noticing right now that some of mine are not secure in place. Um, yeah, I truly recommend you watching the video first, taking notes or whatever, and then, because this has been my first time trying this as well, and I do think if this works out well, um, as I'm hoping it would be that I'll also add it to my other covers because it does seem like a really nice concept but if it's in practice just as nice that's the question okay I'm back uh, it's a little more secure now so I guess this is the part where we're gonna start putting the blanket together so um, basically I guess <laughs> this is gonna be another puzzle so I guess basically what you do is you take the um, outer two things the flaps i guess uh so the ones across from the entrance so this is the entrance does this make sense yeah this makes sense um and then you take your blanket and then you find the point that would match for some reason i don't recall ever doing this before like um figuring out which side is which because which which side is longer? Is one longer? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, one side is definitely longer. So then, here comes the the actual action of it. You take it and you make it go in a knot. And now to hoping that you don't feel this at night. Because <laughs> this is all just an experiment. I'm, I was just gonna videotape it because I thought it was um, fun. Because I'm sure that a lot of people have dealt with this being annoying before. That you just like 
yeah. So, and then you, I guess, I don't know if this is annoying or not, but now it's secure, you don't need to think about it anymore. And then you pull it through. Oh, everything is going wrong. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. And then you take this side and you take your loopy loop over here and all the loose threads because I am careless when doing anything. Hello, so this is me the day after. <laughs> I uh, slept in it yesterday. And um, yeah, it, w it was pretty decent. Uh, why, why I'm back here now, by the way, is because my phone died. <laughs> so what you just watched um, was before my phone died. Um, yeah, and I guess you don't really notice that the knots are in there. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it works. It works pretty good. And, um, I haven't noticed anything yet. Uh, I did notice yesterday because I was testing it out. Like, if I were to pull things and that type of stuff. Um, I did notice that, of course, your, um, the blanket still, like, sags into itself. But then if you just pull the corners again, it's just in place again. Because it's, it, they're tied together. And I don't know, I do think it's a success, actually. So, um, if you watched the video and you were thinking about doing this, um, like, truly, I would say, like, in retrospect, that the part about, like, the sewing machine was a little bit too much. And it was very, it's very secure and it's nice and, um... Um, it was a project and it was nice to have um, something to do, I guess. But in the long run, for example, for my other blankets, I would prefer to... Other blankets? Other blanket cases? I don't know, man. Um, I would probably just do the other math method or to, just literally just cutting out strips and sewing that into it and then uh, letting that be the, the fi fi finished result. Because... Um, it is a little thick, and that's why you do notice that there's a little bit of a ball, but literally you feel, you, you're you never gonna feel that. Um, and if you will, maybe it's even like a little bit nice to stem with or something, I don't know. Uh, but then, of course, something to still keep in mind is to, that realistically, um, there's a chan chance that it would start letting loose easier, but I feel like it's quite easy to fix and it's not that expensive to make. It's literally like you have a, an old shirt or something or old pants and you just cut out a strip and you just sew it into the thing so yeah um i hope you enjoyed the video i um uh, i enjoyed it i had a good time and um yeah uh if you want to show me some love make sure to uh leave leave me a like and um leave a comment down below telling me what you thought about this and um if there's maybe some Maybe even more that you would add to this, or or if you think that you would do something else to, of course, make us let us let us all know in the comments. Um, and uh, if you would like to see more of me, and it would be very much appreciated. Uh, I'm trying to um, make it to the 100 subscribers, uh, and I'm on my way <laughs> um, uh, to subscribe to my channel and um, yeah, to become part of the sewing machine gang. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, to just join my channel. Yeah. So that was the video, you guys. I um, I love you. And please uh, take care of yourself. Uh, drink water. And um, do not light anything. Uh, do not let anything that is hot, very hot, like, uh, like incense or uh, a candle. Do not put that on your bed. Because that's literally so extremely dangerous. And I have a whole hole in my blanket due to that. So because I had an incense on my bed. So truly... Learn from me. Do not do that. Okay? Perfect finishing of finisher for the video. Uh, yeah. Have a good day. Ciao, loves.